Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to the podcast Capturing Magic. I'm Bill Rogers, the voice of Disney. Thanks very much for listening. Hey everyone, welcome to Capturing Magic. I am Steph from CapturingMagic.me and I'm here today with Tanya Hickman who can be found at EveryMagicMoment.com. Hi Tanya. Hi. And we also have Heather Winfield, who can be found at heatherw.com forward slash character. Hi, Heather. Hi. Thanks for being here, girls. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I'm really excited to hear today all about how to capture a cruise. Heather, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Heather just got back from a cruise and she's so excited. I made her stop talking before we hit record because she was just... (laughs) We needed to save it all for the show. So I'm really excited to hear about, because I know I've had lots of questions over the past couple of years about the differences between, you know, there's the photo pass and then the cruise stuff and it's all different and confusing because people aren't familiar with it. So I can't wait to learn. Tell me what the photo pass product on the cruises is called. It's called shutters. And the first thing I want to say, it's kind of, other than it being pictures, it's really nothing like PhotoPass. Okay. Um, good to I, know. And I'm going to say it in a good way. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say anything like bad about the PhotoPass photographers because some of them are great, but you know, sometimes they're not. Right. <laughs> I think we all, yeah, you, know, you can get blurry pictures or overexposed, underexposed. You just never know what you're going to get. And with the this, um, they're not Disney employees. They're, I mean, they're not cast members. I'm sure they have some kind of thing where they're also Disney, but they're not, you know, just Disney because uh, there's there's certain people on the ship where they're not Disney, just Disney cast members and you can tell by their name tag. So they don't have anything Disney on their name tag. Okay. And they, yeah, so they, there was one photographer that I was talking with and she's actually leaving soon, but she's, you know, still with whatever this company is. I don't know if it's just, I'm, I'm assuming it's just shutters on the Disney cruise, but they do all different cruises because even when you go to pre-order, you know, it lists several different cruise companies. And, oh. you know, this other one was talking about she had been on this cruise where they cruise all around the world for 100 days Jeez. and everything. So, yeah. Wow. So, so it's it's pretty cool. So they're they're professional because you can tell when they're taking pictures. They are professional photographers. And this company is just they're on a Disney ship, but they're not just Disney. That makes okay. sense. Yep. So it's a little bit similar to how the run Disney photographers used to be because it was independent, not Disney kind of a thing. Right. Except they weren't usually good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these guys um, are good. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you could tell they were, they were pros. <laughs> okay. That's good. Good to know. So how much does it cost? Okay. Get that right out of the way, right at the top of the show. (laughs) This is also not like photo pass because it's, it's, you need to be sitting down. (laughs) So (laughs) I, um, obviously I was going to get it, you knew I was going to get it, but it still took me a while to actually do it because it was just, it was a lot. So if you're not going to pre-order it, it's, um, there's all different packages but let's say the, the two main ones, like you can get a, all digital pictures. So at the end of the cruise, you get all your pictures digitally, or you can get it where you get all your pictures as prints, or you can get digital and prints. So, okay, so what size, or, the prints, what size are they printing them? They're by six, both. Eight by 10? Yeah, it depends. They're either, most of them were eight by tens, but there's also six by eights. And the oh. things you can't, you can't pick what you want it to be. And the other thing is they all have borders on them and it doesn't matter if you get them digitally or as prints, they have borders. Really? And yes. And that's, that, that was, you know, even going in, I knew that, but it was kind of like, you know, me, I didn't really, I wish I had both. And sometimes the borders are, you know, those little thin ones, like for example, for Halloween, they had just a little thin thing with like bats and it said Halloween, but then other times they're the same kind of things like you see on photo pass. So they're, the thick border for like Daisy, it was like a thick pink border with like, you know, flowers. So you have to kind of sometimes you might think like, oh no, it cuts off her shoe. Like, right. You know? yeah. So that's, 
that's probably like the only negative I have about it because I just don't like those borders. But I think most of the time I should be able to crop that stuff out. But that that is for all the pictures. Although they also have photo books, and it, um, I don't think any of us would get the photo book because like we can do our own thing. But apparently they're very popular on the ship, and I think if you get a photo book, like you can have it without the border in the book. I was kind of, <laughs> I was kind of watching somebody because I knew I'd be talking about this, yeah. and so I was kind of watching what they were doing, and I could see there weren't borders on them. So, you know, interesting. Yeah. So. Back to the price. Um, <laughs> You're beating yeah. around the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, like I said, I got all the digital pictures. And there also, there's a pre-order thing. And it's, um, oh, I'm pretty sure it's mycruisephotos.com. And if it's not, I will we'll put something in the show notes. But when you s- sign up for the cruise, they send you that information. And you can also, I think, Google it or whatever. But it's uh, that's the site where you have to pre-order. And if you pre-order, mine was uh, $50 off, and it, it was 15% off. So I don't know if they're all 15% off or they're all $50. You know, like, I don't know exactly because I only did the one thing I did. But if you pre-order it, and then when you're on the ship, you decide you're not taking pictures, you can get your money back before the last night. So I would oh. recommend to pre-order it. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, because I even was, um, you know, it's like anything with Disney. You're standing in line with people, so you're chatting with them. You become friends, especially being the character person. We're always in the same lines. Yeah. So I, yeah, I talked to a couple of people who didn't know that either, and they, you know, got the package and they said because I wasn't sure, and I said, well, you can do that because I, I did triple check that in a couple of places. So I would say definitely pre-order it. Yeah. So uh, if you could tell by my fifteen percent thing before, yeah, the yikes. secret was it's. So, what I the digital or print package, it's not pre ordered, it's $349.95. So, it's a lot. And, like I said, I got the pre ordered it, so it was, you know, $300 because it's $50 off. Yeah, so it's hard. It seems like a lot. It is a lot. But, you know, I think if you're a picture person like me, and especially because I found the quality to be so good. I think it's worth it. And especially if you're taking a lot of pictures, you're taking a lot of character pictures. <laughs> and, um, it's, you know, I, I think it's worth it. Although it's, it's a lot to handle, but you know, it's that. And then they also have, if you want the digital and prints, that's a hundred dollars more. So that's four forty nine ninety five. And then they had other things you could have like, you know, 20 pictures or prints. And that was, Oh my goodness. That's a lot. Don't do that. For 20 pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the thing now. I didn't even pay attention. For 20 pictures or 20 digital things, it's $250. Oh, my gosh. So don't do that because just buy all your pictures. I yes. don't know. I, I don't want to say I can't imagine who, someone that will do that, you know. But yeah. And then they also have one for 10 prints or 10 digital files, and that's 150 And the photo book is 150 And... Yeah, so that's that's a different kinds of things you can okay, get. So I, let, let me ask you, can you get like just the photo book if you wanted to? Can you just oh, pay yeah. the hundred and fifty for just the photo book? Yeah, that's yeah, those things are separate. So you can get the photo book and it says create a personalized storybook of your Disney cruise and that's hundred and fifty dollars. And are they and printing it there on the ship or do they sh- send it to you? No, it's it's printed there. So that's why you have to do this stuff like for the photo book it says Uh, You have to order prior to 1030 on the last night of the cruise. So you have to, do you want me to explain how you get the pictures now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I don't know, there's like so much to talk about. I don't know if I should jump ahead. But if you're ordering, like you can also order just one picture. I'm not for some reason, they don't have that listed here, how much they are. But I saw people doing that constantly. But you can, you know, get the picture. Or if you're getting all your pictures as prints, you can pick that up on your last night. But if you're doing a digital, they give you a um, thumb drive and you have to come on the last day. Now, shutters like every store on the ship can't be open when you're in port. So, you know, wherever you are or on Castaway Key or before you um, sail away, they're all closed. The only time they're open is on the last day when you're 
getting off the ship from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. so you can pick up your prints or your pictures. So on your last day, you have to go and pick up a thumb drive with all your pictures. I don't know why they don't just do it so they can like email you and you can download it. I think that would be so much easier. Yeah. But you have to pick it up. But the box at least is cute. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a, you know, like a see-through thing. It says Disney Cruise Line. It's a magnetic box. I have to figure out something else I can use it for because it's nice. But that's what you do. You go and you pick that up on your last day and you have to get there early. Like it, I got there at 645 and there was already a line. And I'm sure if you go later, it's a crazy line because that's the only time you could pick it up. And other people are picking up, you know, prints and that kind of thing. I guess yeah. your photo book would probably then also. So that's how you have to do that. Um, I, I'm trying to think. It's like there's so much to talk about. I don't know if I should just jump in about like how you see your pictures. Sure. We're on your really? time. We're on yeah, your you're, I don't know you everything that you need to talk about. So you're just you just have go. To pick we'll and go. interject when we need to. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Okay. So there's the shutters. Is it's on the fourth deck, and the reason why I'm saying that is because that's kind of the main place that I spent most of my time on, like deck three and four. Three is the atrium, and so it's like when you come on the ship, and that's where everything like the statue you know mini statue all that kind of stuff is and then on the fourth deck there's a bunch of stuff but like for me I was there a lot because on the uh balcony that's where a lot of the characters met I'll say now I had 65 character meets what? during the cruise yes and how, <laughs> met, how long how many days were you gone uh, seven days wow so um and it was it was uh 55 different characters I mean not different but I mean like Mickey so many times but you know 55 so like I met Mickey like you know in all different kinds of outfits that was the whole point so it wasn't like I met 55 different characters okay but I met 55 you know in different outfits and such okay and um anyone new for you no new characters but 43 new things outfits (laughs) outfit yeah that's cool so that that was the cool thing there's I kind of lucked into the uh, the way they do the characters is always different and it depends on who's like in charge of the characters and like I said I looked into the one where they cut like the main reason why I went, <laughs> went on the fantasy they had this one outfit that she only wears like on one night on that ship and they cut it like three weeks before I was on the ship and I was like devastated because <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I had told Tanya this for like weeks I'm like if I don't meet her in this I'm like jumping off oh my yeah. then I'm, I'm jumping overboard if she's not there <laughs> and oh, it's like no. I couldn't meet her There's, usually she has like one or two meets you know and so I get on the cruise and I happen to run into these ones who are the character attendants and we're talking and it was great and then I was saying like about that and she's like no she doesn't meet anywhere I'm like hey <laughs> <laughs> and they're like I couldn't even talk. They said, "Yeah." So I went to the bar after that. I was very devastated. <laughs> <laughs> but and so sometimes we'll have a lot of Roman characters, and there were like hardly any in this time. So it was it. It's kind of a luck of the draw. But I still, you know, like I said, I got like forty three new ones, and no one knew. But it was, uh, you know, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto, Chip and Dale, and they were in. Um, six different outfits each I think I have my list I had a whole list of course <laughs> that I had a cross off because making sure I did that one two three four five six yeah six different outfits almost all of them met in all those different outfits and a couple other random ones like Stitch Man on Pirate Night and like Peter Pan has a different outfit on the cruise so that's awesome. all but, that's yeah. fun <laughs> so, it was a blast so uh, sorry, I completely went off the topic there, sort of. But so that's that was on that that same deck. So that was deck four, and so they have two areas. So the one area is like the picture part, and so that's the actual prints. And so what you do is they have all these bookshelves, and you take your your key to the world card, which if you've been to Disney before Disney World before the Magic Band, you know what key to the world card is. It's mm. It's your everything. It's It's, how you get into your room. It's how you you pay for stuff so that you don't know how much you spend until the end and then you, like, cry. (laughs) Cruises cruises are really good at that. 
<laughs> Cruises and, are very good at that. And uh, it's how you also when you're taking your pictures at the at the shutters, they always take your card and they put it like in the thing on their, you know, they don't like scan it. It just however it does it. I don't know. But so it, it that's how they do RFID that or something. Probably I don't know exactly what it was, but it was like it they stuck it in a thing and it was held on there. So. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I should have taken a picture of that. I thought for sure I had a picture, and I'm kind of skimming through my things of all the photographers, and I don't think I have that. I don't know, but I don't know. But so you take your card and you just you know tap it to um, one of the sides of these bookshelves, and all the bookshelves are labeled by characters. So there's like a Mickey, Pluto, Daisy, Donald. I think there were five or something like that. I don't know. And then there's four rows of colors in the bookshelf. And so there's like brown and red and yellow and blue, I think. And then they're all numbered. So when you take your card and you tap it, it gives you, it'll say like Mickey Brown 47. So you go to that bookshelf and the color and then the thing, and then that's your folder. And it's it's an actual folder. So like, you know, you're holding it in your hand. And so um, you take it out and all your pictures are in there. So, you, like, your hard crazy. copy. Picture. I know, it's so weird. Like, what? You, you print the pictures? So that's one way that you can see all your pictures. And if you're someone who takes a lot of pictures, like 305, like I I do, was going to ask you how many pictures you got. <laughs> yeah, and that's – and the thing is, too, like, at first it kind of doesn't feel like a lot. But if you think about it, for the characters, they don't really take candid pictures because they say – since they actually print everybody's picture, it would be so much. So I think of all the characters I met, I have maybe like five that are like candid, like a hug or something. So most of those pictures are just like post pictures. And then all the other pictures, which I'll mention however ways you can get your pictures, but there's still way less than, you know, say when you're at Disney World that you can go in front of the castle and then Main Street and then, you know, Fantasyland and here and there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot like less opportunities so that, in fact, I have 305. I think yeah. it's pretty good. 305 <laughs> shutter pictures or pictures yes. from by shutter. Yes. And so if Shutters. you have a lot of pictures, they can't keep them all in the folder. They have a little note. And so you have to go over to the desk. <laughs> 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 <I'm there. laughs> and remember, there's just two of us. It's just my mom and I. Some people have, you know, five or more or whatever in the room. So you can only have five in the room, but you know what I mean. So it was, uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good number. So you can do that. And, you know, they have lots of uh, desks. I took pictures of everything, so I'll put it in the post because, you know, sometimes, again, when it's something like this and you've never done it, to be able to even try to picture it, it's kind of hard. So I took as many pictures as I could. And so they have tables and you can go through them and look. And that's how you see, you know, the eight by tens or six by eights. They're all there. So that's the picture part of it. Then there's also a digital room and it's like where I always met the characters on like this atrium uh, balcony and you just keep walking straight. You walk past, they have a gallery, which is kind of like how they have it, you know, Disney Springs or downtown Disney, like D street or not D street. Um, all the place we like Wonderland gallery. Yeah. You know, those kinds of things. So they have like lots of those things up. So you just walk past those and they have a room that has all these uh, kiosks. So same thing, you just tap your key to the roll card and you have all your pictures on there. So I always check that every day. I, again, I keep lists. So I kept track of all the pictures I took and then I would go check each night to make sure they were all there. And sometimes they weren't. Like one time I had with Donald, it was several days. And so I finally went, and so they, I, cause I couldn't find it and they, but they were able to find it on my last day. So that was good. And like, before you go on the ship, when you're in the terminal, they have a, a character meeting there. And that was like the longest line I've ever stood in. Like it, it just didn't move. I don't know what the deal was, but it was for Mickey and they have like a, a model of the ship. And so it's kind of like a thing I always wanted, <laughs> you know? So usually it's like Mickey and Minnie and they switch out. And so I was in the line forever and we were the last ones to meet Mickey. And I was so happy because he switched out with Goofy. And I mean, no offense to Goofy because I like him, but like, that's not where I wanted to be. Like, I wanted to get, like, I would have taken Minnie, but like, I wanted Mickey and that's fine. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> so that picture though takes several days because it's like you have your card, but I don't know what the deal is. You're not on the ship, so it takes them longer. Because I I had asked because I didn't have it after two days, and she said, "Don't worry, it'll be there." And they were like four days or so into the trip, but everything else, uh, they were all there. But I would definitely keep checking because then you can go to the desk and ask. And like I said, they're not there at the desk all the time. It's only when they're open. So if you're in a port, they're not open. So it's usually like night hours, like 6 to 11 type of thing. They're only open when you're at sea. Yeah. yeah. So so they have, like I said, the kiosks. And you can, you know, I think that's, that's how you can do your photo book. That's why I was <laughs> spying a person doing the photo book because I was looking at it. But, you know, you can order your pictures, all that kind of stuff. You can order the all the digital pictures if you want. Any of that kind of stuff is is also on the the kiosks and it was like I said every day I went and there was nobody there there was maybe one other person and then on the last night they actually had it closed off in the front so you had to come around because the line was so long (laughs) so that's why if you want to do it like make sure you keep checking these things like constantly like don't wait until the last day because that's when like most normal people (laughs) go and you know do it the last minute um I'm trying to think if there's anything else like with that kind of thing. Do you have any questions about that? See if I could jog my memory of anything else. No, I don't think so. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is even happening right now? No, I've been, I've been on, like, I get it. I've been on a cruise. I haven't been on a Disney cruise, but I've been on cruises before. So, like, I get the whole photo process, but that is, like, a complicated photo process. It's super Like, that is a whole lot of stuff. It's like an either or. Like you don't have to do your pictures. Like you can just do the digital ones. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the digital kiosk. You don't yeah. have to. Like I didn't check my prints like all the time. I checked. Like I just thought that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> they were all there. Yeah. But like the digital one is the one I checked all the time just to make sure my pictures are all there. And that's how I knew how many pictures I had. And can you check and- that from other places or just inside shutters? The only other place I saw was, um, and I only found that on my last night was um, the, on deck two, they had one of your rotational dining. You have three rotational dining places, and um, you, your servers go with you, and your table mates go with you, for better or for worse. That's, that's, one, of I, that's one of the things that <laughs> keeps me from wanting to do a cruise right there. You want to hear my story? Like oh, I, no. If I can make it really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're on the cruise. It's not about it's, somebody it's, that's going to be maybe listening, though, right? Oh, will most definitely not be listening. Okay, Just, <laughs> trust me. We um, there was only two bad things for the whole cruise. We had it, really rough seas our first night. It was pretty bad. Even the c- crew members were kind of like holding on to to brace themselves because it was much worse than normal. So that was the only a bad thing. The other bad thing was our table mates. They hate Disney. Oh, like, what? They, <laughs> they are BBC members because they wanted a timeshare in Orlando, and that's what they saw was on sale 25 years ago. <laughs> and so that's what they bought. But they <sighs> hate Disney. So we would come and, the, you know, you, you do all this stuff and then you come to dinner and like you just, you know, you want to like talk about like all the exciting stuff you did or you're just like all hyped up. And then you come to dinner and they just like, hate everything and, and like rolling their it. eyes and they compl- oh my goodness complaining <laughs> oh i'm so sad <laughs> like all their medical issues we heard <laughs> it's just, it was so bad the first night again the first night this was our first ever cruise they've been on like a billion cruises they originally they wanted to do a panamanian cruise but it was full and since they're dbc members they can get on this cruise for free so that's why they did it that should have been our first sign. We should have right. like that then. But um, you know, they were like the the restaurants were so gorgeous, and they were they had all these different details that were Disney themed details. Like the first night, it was the royal court, and so everything was different princess stuff. And they had the princess, you know, uh, mosaics, and the the bread bowl was um, her coach. So instead of being like, "Wow, that's so cool," the one was saying like. Oh, you can just get a regular bread thing and just like solder on these little circles and you can make it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is the lot. Yeah. So that's, oh, that's what we had with our, oh, our, so our table. See, <laughs> that would be such a bummer. <laughs> and it just like, it was just brought everything down. And the, the 
thing was we actually skipped one night because we just couldn't handle it and we also wanted to take pictures so we did that and how did um, you eat then well they have other places like they have you know oh, okay. uh, quick service thing and yeah okay. um we had there's like adult dining that we had booked so i had a rem- a palo dinner one so we went didn't have to deal okay. with them also and we i mean that's a whole other thing like you said one day we'll have a food show we'll yes. discuss that in detail but um yeah, it was, we, we ended up, because you have the same server with this rotational dining thing, and they, uh, we ran into one of them on another night, because they also do all the other kinds of food places that, when you're not eating dinner, mm-hmm. so, and he's like, you know, is something wrong, because, like, <laughs> you can tell, and they, they thought it was them, because then they were trying, like, way too hard, right, like, they were, they kept us for, like, 10 minutes afterwards, like, asking all these, you know, um, and finally, we're just like, you know, and so we kind of explained it, and, he felt so bad that, like, the, I forget what he's called, the head server guy, um, he was able to find us another table because the oh, people were eating Apollo. And then on the next night, he got us um, the set, because there's two different seatings, and so we were on the first seating, so he got us the second seating. And um, my, we had actually eaten because we didn't think we were <laughs> going to go. And so my mom didn't go. So she was also packing because you have to pack early. and But I went so I through by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great because it was this other coming back to the reason why I started talking about this is that the the um Enchanted Garden is the restaurant. It's one of the dining ones. And when we went the first time, like we couldn't enjoy it at all because like it was so cool. They had um it would go from from day to night and so it'd be like to sunset and then everything would change. Oh, wow. And the they had flowers as the lamps and they bloomed like over the course of the and but again they were just like hmm, you know. <laughs> Oh, this, <laughs> this time I was by myself and I was like sitting in the center of the restaurant and I'm like, yeah. But right outside then when I left, I saw they had kiosks for the shutters, but it wasn't working for me. So I don't know what the deal was. But also that last night, I think because everybody was checking, things were much slower. So maybe earlier in the trip it worked, but that was the only other place I saw a kiosk for it. Okay. But 90% of the time, other than on your last night, there's no wait for that. Oh, that's good. Area. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Just, so you can get in there the... and make sure everything's there. Yeah. I told you to be all over the place with this. Like, <laughs> Is so that where we were going with that story? I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we circled back. Okay. <laughs> that's how that fits in. <laughs> okay, so back to pictures. Well, sp- oh, no, there, I do have another thing that has to do with pictures and dining. They sometimes have the photographers in there. Okay. So they'll they'll come around. Um, I only saw them twice because there's seven nights. We didn't. There were two nights. I guess we didn't go, but there were still only two times, other times that I saw them come. So I don't know if it's only on certain nights or whatever. But they were, they did come in there. Um, they weren't really my favorite pictures because they're kind of like close up. Cause they just stand there and you know take your picture when you're sitting. Oh. So you don't you, so you like you don't see the. I mean the pictures don't look bad. Like I can obviously I'll show you any of the pictures you want, but um, it's just like. You just pictures of you, kind of. It's not really, you don't see the scenery or anything. Actual, yeah. So, but they did do that. And um, when we went to Palo, there was one there. So she took a picture of us. But um, I don't really like it that much either because it's like I'm standing and my mom's sitting. And it looks like <laughs> uh, Tanya watches Gilmore Girls too. And like, you know, like the picture, like the portrait that they would like, you yeah, know, paint. Like, like one sitting in front yeah. and one oh, standing behind. The formal, behind. yeah, the yeah. formal yeah. portrait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, so I don't really think maybe we should have moved my chair around instead or something. But yeah, so they are, they are at dinner sometimes with that. But yeah, I was able to make it about what we're talking about. Okay, so <laughs> let me ask you this question that I just thought of. Are there a super, are there any super iconic shots that people need to make sure that they get? You know, when you go to Disney World, you need to make sure that you get the castle and the, you know, all of the different icons in the parks and those kinds of things is there anything like that on a cruise like with the shutters people or just in yeah, general with the shutters people okay well um along with obviously the characters most of the time they're with the characters uh there's a couple times they're not like on the last day they have uh this see you real soon like i thought it was a show but what it is is they just come out and then they go like around the area and you take pictures with them which was great. The characters? So, but the characters, oh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I had met, there was, Chip and Dale didn't meet, so 
in that outfit. So it was great. I was able to catch that. But it's a really quick thing. So there's no photographers with that. But otherwise, and if you find roaming characters, which I only did maybe twice, um, they're not with them then. But otherwise, they're always with them. But along with that, the other times you'll see them is they have um, on formal night, they have you have your atrium and then they have you like a staircase. So they are by the staircase on formal night. And they're also with, I think, and they're also there on semi-formal night. And then on formal night, they're also with the statue. So each ship has, I don't know if that's what they call the statue, but (laughs) it's a statue, I guess, (laughs) of the, um, each ship, the Disney ship, there's four Disney ships. I was on the fantasy. And uh, so that is Minnie in her peacock dress, which is actually what she meets in on formal night. And so that's each, uh, you know, one of them is, is Donald, the one's Mickey, maybe the other's Goofy, I'm not sure. But so each one has that statue, and so that would definitely be the, I guess, the iconic thing. And so the only time that I saw a photographer there was on formal night. So, um, but I mean, everybody takes pictures there themselves. Right, <laughs> so, right. Um, and they also, I was on the Halloween cruise, so they have this Halloween tree, and it blooms into having um jack-o'-lanterns on it on on halloween night and then it's like that the rest of the cruise so on halloween night they had a a photographer there so it's like quote quote air quotes halloween night well it's hot i mean yeah it's halloween (laughs) night you mean like themed it's not like actually actually yeah it's not actually (laughs) halloween night it's not october 31st Right. Well, okay. yeah, because like each night on the ship is like a different theme. Okay. So like on my cruise, I had seven. So obviously, you know, there's uh, cruises that are less. They have like their four nights or three nights or whatever. But on mine, it was seven nights. So like our second night was formal night. And uh, the third night was was a Halloween night. And there was, you know, like I said, there was a semi-formal night. There was a uh, Pirates Night. That was my favorite. <laughs> I feel uh, that's fun. Yes, it is so much fun. And I, like I said, I could keep talking about all the different things. I know you want me to like just talk about this. But well, yeah, we've only, yeah so, we don't have forever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, so each one has that. And so um, that's what I mean by the Halloween night. So that that's the theme to that. And um, they also have, but I guess, yeah, so those are the only ones like they would take. But then they also have, not on the first night, but... Each night afterwards, they have backdrops, and you would love that and stuff. Cause yeah, they have. I <laughs> I even took I took I think I gotta find those pictures because I was looking for all that. But they have uh, along with the backdrop, they have a sign, and it tells you who the photographer is, and it has their picture, and it gives you like the set times because it, most of them oh. had like three times since you have like an early dinner and a late dinner. So they had an early one and then a later one. And then they had like a late, late one usually. So it was like 10 something. That's cool. So they had like two on one side and then one on the other side generally. And so they would have like backdrop with of like the ship and like on uh, Halloween night, you know, they had like a Halloween themed backdrop and on pirate night they had the pirate you know the pirates of the caribbean logo and um what else they had they had a couple of different ships because they had like a ship when it was like you know it's supposed to be at night or or sunset they had actually when you were coming i didn't mention that i don't think when you were uh, getting on the ship when you were first boarding before you get on the ship they have backdrops like that too and so you can you can skip that if you want because the line's long but I'm not going to skip that, you know, yeah. it's their first day. So they had those backdrops with the ship. And so, like, all that's included. And I have a tip for that. If you see one line moving faster than the other line, it's because one side had one backdrop and the other side had two backdrops. So that's why that – so guess which line I was <laughs> <laughs> The slow-moving yeah, one, obviously. Mm-hmm. Obviously. So, but, yeah, so that's that's when you get on the ship. They also have those backdrops. But – yeah, at night they they have them and they, you know they put them up, they take them down. You you know it's it's a whole process. They wow, this is the whole thing up. But yeah, that was um, you know one of the the nice things too with having the pictures because you get all those and that they, they also had the backdrops that were just plain. Like they had a white backdrop and a black backdrop and like I said, those photographers were great. So 
it wasn't just like even like I was saying about with the steps and in front of the statue, it wasn't like they said, oh, hey, go up there take your picture and that's it. Like they were posing you. They say like stand like this, do this, that whole kind of thing. Oh, and cool. uh, just to make sure like you looked good. And the ones when they had the backdrops, I mean, they were doing all kinds of things. They were like get on the ground and they had like chairs where like you sat on the chair and you, you know, there was the, <laughs> the one time, the one in front of us and it was like three generations you know, and so they were like, oh, yeah, get on the ground. And she was like, yeah, no, I'm not getting on the ground. <laughs> she brought over a table and then the, the, the mother and the grandmother were like sitting on it. And then the kid would, would, was kind of um, laid on the ground. So she was like sticking out under the, and it was like, I, I can't explain what the table was like, but it was really cute because she was kind of like there with like her hands head on her hands with the the one sitting on the table it was so cute but it was like those kinds of things that they were you know making sure everything like looked good they just say like get up there take your picture and get out you know right that's good yeah so that was that's uh that's another thing where they have i'm trying to think if there's there's there isn't anywhere else that i saw them on the ship i know like I said, on semi-formal night, they just had them on stairs, but they didn't have them with the statue. But the thing, too, on formal night, they have a um, like a captain's gala thing. So they give you free drinks. So <laughs> it's really crowded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, they, they, there was when I, I actually had gone downstairs first because I was going to get in line for the character and then like I saw the, the crazy lines for like the stairs and everything and that was one of the reasons why we decided to skip dinner that day because we went to wanted to get pictures with all these you know things and so later on I, I noticed that for most of the things like the late thing uh you know sets of anything were less lines so if you want to wait that's a good time to to go and get your pictures there that's good to know Sure. I think there's, yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty sure when you do the aqueduct, you get a picture and that goes on your, you know, same thing. Uh-huh. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I read that because I didn't get a chance to do it. <laughs> so, oh, you didn't? No, I was going to do it. I, I was going to do it on the last day. And then I just, I, you know, so much, like, I feel like, I don't know, there's still so much stuff you didn't, I didn't get a chance to do. But that was one of the things I was going to and I didn't, so next time <laughs> right right that's the thing about cru- cruises people always think that they'll get like bored you're stuck on yeah. a boat for seven days there's so much to do and that you'll leave with being like oh i didn't do that like why didn't i see that like, like there was so much uh, yeah there was like this thing that they had which was kind of like the same vein as like the sorcerers of the magic kingdom but they had all oh, different fun. like themes so they had like a muppets one and a couple other ones and i kept saying from like the day the second we got on the ship and I'm like yeah I want to do that and I'm going to do that I'm going to and I never <laughs> got a chance yeah. to do it and there's constantly people going around doing it and it's just every time it's like yeah I'm gonna do it and so yeah there was plenty of things that I, I didn't do that I wanted to do but it's it is there's a lot of stuff and again if you're not me like running around getting characters all the time <laughs> to more things to do but yeah, it was, it was great. So how I much, I'm kind of curious to know how much time did you just lay by the pool? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> that's cute, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what, I mean, it's good to know that for people that don't like that. I had oh, to yeah. her into even buying a bathing suit to yeah. go on the cruise. I was like, you have okay. to go, like, do something, you know, Caribbean-ish. <laughs> But did you even put the bathing suit on? No. Because no. I was going to, and then I, I, I didn't as long, yeah. But I, I was going to, and then I didn't. But it was, but I mean, there was times because, like, I wanted to go and take pictures in a certain place. Like, I'd go somewhere, and there were just, like, all the people there laying out, you know, getting, you know, sun. And I'm just like, that's not me. <laughs> like, and then other people there, there would hear me talk about doing all the stuff I'm doing. They're like, why are you doing that? I go and just, like, lay out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so everybody you have everything that you can do I mean, anything you would want to do like you can do like I I went um one day I went and I ran because there's the on the fourth deck it's the running track I mean it's not it's it's there but I mean it that's what that's what the running thing is for and there were lots of people doing it too but I went the one day we were in port and it was when you had to take you know the other boat 
the, the tender thing. Tinder, <laughs> and we yeah. had, yeah. So, Tinder. yeah. <laughs> I forget what it's called. <laughs> yeah. That little, yeah. And so we had to Apollo dinner that night. And it was just like, it felt like it was too much to have to go. And because it wasn't really, we didn't have like an excursion anyway. So, so instead we stayed on the ship and like I went to the fitness center and then I went and I ran around the, you know, like I did a mile running, which was like seriously the best I, I felt running since like the beginning of the year with all my issues. It's like the first time I had nothing bothering me. Great. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure you talk to other people and be like, you exercise while you were on the ship. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> but, you know, everyone has, has different things. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What about places to charge? Like your char- charge. charge your phone for those of us. Like if you're out and about, did you ever need to charge your well, phone? The thing is, you don't really use your phone that much. Um, I, I mean, you have in your room. I mean, there, m- there might have been plugs. I-, I can honestly tell you, I like you know, I always have my charger with me. I didn't even bring it with me anywhere when we went out. I never needed it. I the only time I really used it was when I kept checking the time. Even though, you know, they they tell you to wear a watch. Because of that, so I had a watch on, but mm-hmm. I still kept checking my phone. <laughs> and I mean, I also had on there, like, um, you know, I would take pictures of the every night they give you it's called a navigator. And so that's has all your schedule for the next day. And that most importantly has the box with all the character schedule. So I would have that and I would write up what I wanted to see on my phone. And but I would still keep checking the paper when I was out, but I, I also had it on my phone. And, but that was, and there's also an app that has all the schedule on it. It has, you know, all the deck plans. It has all that kind of stuff, like uh-huh. any kind of app. It was great. So the, the problem is with the app is that you can't really see that it has all this stuff until you're on the ship because beforehand you only get the countdown. So I took a bunch of screen caps too of that. So I, <laughs> I would have to go afterwards. But it was, so that's pretty much the only time you're really using it. The app also has like a chat feature so you can, you know, communicate with other people you know instead of texting they have the internet but you have to pay like twenty dollars for like 300 megabytes and i was like they when you first get on the ship you can get which you would go megabytes. through in oh yeah <laughs> because checking the because, time <laughs> yeah because i when you first get on the ship as long as you do it that first day you get 50 megabytes for free and I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work like the, the first time because I wanted to post pictures when I, after we got on and nothing was working. And it wasn't until we went um, on deck for the uh, sail away party that it started working. So like, this is great. So I was able to, you know, like, you know, tweet and I like, posted public, and then it was gone. <laughs> like That went that quickly. And so I had to keep I, I ended up about halfway through. I decided to get the internet. So I got like $20 worth and just so I could, you know, do a couple of things. I also, cause I'm me, I wanted to be able to track, um, cause it's, it's supposed to work on Castaway Key. So I wanted to track the run cause they have a 5k. So I would have that in my run keeper, like the map of running, <laughs> you know, there. Yeah. And what happened was when I went to, to start tracking it, it, the internet wasn't working. So I wasn't able to track it anyway. So that was, and then it sort of worked the rest of the day, but you know, I don't know. But so because of that, you're not really using your phone like you normally would. So there really isn't that much of a, a reason to have to be charging your phone all the time. I know that's okay. strange, for, especially for me, because you know how <laughs> going back to those dinner you know, it's table mates, yeah. you know, normally when you're like at dinner and then it's like, you have nothing else to do. Like I would just check my phone and I'd like yeah. pull out my phone and, but it's like, uh, I can't do anything. You have to actually <laughs> socialize. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that, that was, that was, you know, the, the time, you know, I missed it, but it, it was hard over the, the course of it. So I, I kind of had it a couple of times. I, I think I checked, you know, one or two things, but I never, like, I had gone into it thinking, well, maybe if I get this package, like, I can post, you know, like, a a collage or something each night. Like, that didn't happen. Right, right. (laughs) 
But yeah, so that's, you don't really need charging. I mean, we were worried even in the room if we would have enough stuff to charge because you know, the cameras and the phones, and but it wasn't a problem. I can say too, like, this is nothing to do with <laughs> what we're talking about. Like, the size of the room and the storage was like way better than I expected. Like, I had more storage in that room than I think in any hotel room I've been in. <laughs> it's like there was really? a ton. Yeah, there wow. was. I mean, first of all, you put your, they had the room under the bed for your suitcases. So we had at that point three suitcases. So they all went under the, the, you know, bed. But there was tons, you know, there was like two closets and there was so many drawers and there were drawers next to the tables. I mean to the tables, the um bed. In fact, even next to the bed they had the plug. So if I did have my phone that I could use it, I could have plugged it there, but instead I plugged my camera right there. And it was I don't know, it was great. The the, the bathrooms were bigger than I expected I expected like this tiny little thing like you couldn't even move (laughs) right but yeah so it you had that but that has nothing to do with the pictures but (laughs) does if you took a picture of the bathroom well I did (laughs) there you go it's part of your memories (laughs) the funny thing when I first walked in like I took pictures and then I thought, like, oh, I'm here for seven days, so I'll take more pictures. And, and then I realized, I'm, like, skimming through my pictures that, like, I forgot to take close-up pictures of, like, they they put um, a pillow on your bed. And, like, one side has, you know, like, a, a cruise logo thing. And then they come back into your room later at night, and they, you know, clean everything again. And that's when they put the navigator on your, your bed. And they every night, this, this has something to do with capturing magic. Every night, there's like a different towel animal or a different, uh, they have a blanket and they make that into different animals or yeah. things. So they do that every night. And um, I did a whole they, scrapbook they, layout on the towel yeah. animals one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and then they, cool. they turn the, the pillow around. And then that one says, you know, a dream is a wish your heart makes. So I thought I had close-up pictures of both sides of the pillows, and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap or fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, there's – I mean, yeah, you go on the ship. I mean, there's so many things to take pictures of. But um, you were talking about the thing with the shutters. I probably should finish that. <laughs> okay. But we um, – when you talking about – we said about the race, but for on Castaway Key, so they're apparently out there, but I really didn't get – any pictures with them because I did the 5k and so the 5k is supposed to go off the ship a half hour before everyone else but there was a delay so we ended up going at the same time but because of that it took it's really hot so it it took me even longer to do the 5k than normal so the characters are only out on the island until like most of them like 10 30 10 45 and the race ended up starting like after nine so I had to, like, you know, race afterwards to just try to get one character by the ship. And then I kind of ran back on the ship and dried off a bit and changed and grabbed my good camera and went back out to try to catch the other characters. So in that time, they had a they had photographers out by the ship. So you get your picture in front of the ship. And, uh, you know, both times when I was going out to the 5K, I saw them and I was thinking of stopping. But then I thought. I don't know where I'm going, <laughs> so I didn't want to lose the group, you know, and then that was it, so I didn't, and then when I came back, to, like I said, I was in a rush, I had to make sure I caught them before they left, and so then uh, we ate, and so then afterwards, I went back to see, and they were gone, <laughs> so I found out afterwards, they're only there until 11, so if you want your iconic picture in front of the ship, like, do it before 11, <laughs> <laughs> don't be me and like being upset the rest of the day because I don't have a picture in front of the boat. <laughs> um, and they, the other thing was too, when I was quickly going back and forth, I saw photographers out in other places on the island, but again, I couldn't stop. And then I didn't see them again. So um, the I was talking with the photographer afterwards and she said they were out there until like four. So I don't know where they were, but it, you, if you find them, you, apparently you can find them. So you can get a lot of pictures there, but unfortunately I missed out. But they were with um, the characters, most of the characters that were out. So I, I got those at least. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of places to take pictures there. We, The thing I felt really bad about with Castaway Key is that it was really windy. And so they canceled almost every like excursion and tour and anything that people were signed up for. 
like even the adult beach was closed. You couldn't go in the water. And we probably need oh. to mention this was right after Hurricane Matthew, too, right? Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the beginning, that's why I think the first night was so rough, is that I think it was the remnants of the uh, Nicole, because remember they had another one right oh. afterwards. And so that was the one that, because um, Matthew had like kind of like finished by then, but Nicole was there. So I think that was the first day. But But this time, this was like almost a week later. So I don't know what that was, but <laughs> it was... That was a, a pretty, because it was even the night before that I've always, they always said that either going into Castaway Key, and for those who don't know, that's Disney's private island. So it's, that's the thing that people look forward to, like the entire trip. So usually going into it or coming out of it is rough. And so when we were going into it, it was actually a lot rougher than they said is normal. <laughs> okay, this is our luck again. Uh, so they were like, the next day it'll be fine. But then the next night was also a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a little rough. I just kind of lucked into that kind of stuff. But it was on the Castaway Key. It was really windy. And yeah, I felt, I mean, I wasn't signed up for any of that stuff, obviously, but a lot of other people were. And I felt yeah. bad that they, you know, so I don't know, but that was. They can't, Disney can't but, control the weather. I know. Yeah. They, it's a funny what? thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, not in, not outside. <laughs> they should go just enclose everything in a bubble yeah. and make it easier on us. <laughs> But the the thing was like they they give you a comment card at the end to like fill out about everything. But one of the things they even list is like about the weather and yeah, you know that kind of thing. And I'm like, that's why are they asking that? Like, that's, that's not so their fault. Funny. But yeah, that's I'm really trying funny. to think if there's anything else. Like, um, the, oh, the when I did the 5K, when you were done, you know how when we we did the about the Run Disney show, and I said when uh, how Marathon Photo used to have the person taking your picture like right away. And yeah. now they don't have that. Well, they had that. One of the photographers was there taking your picture with the medal. <laughs> so. Right at the end. Yeah. So I got that. That's good. Yeah. And so, but they, they don't have, I think, I don't know because I didn't go to meet any characters like in a set meeting spot that night. That was the last night. Because like I said, they had that other show, that, that thing. So I was able to catch all those characters uh-huh. in. So, but I don't think they had the photographers out for those either because in, um, as I was saying, when you're on the ship, like, you know all these people because there's only so many. So, especially if you're doing something, you know, a lot with pictures or with the characters, like, you know them. So, like, we knew all these people. So, and every time we'd be, like, talking with them, I got a picture even with one of the photographers because we were, like, you know, seeing them all the time. But um, she was saying that they, because it's that last night and they have to be working on, you know, uh, printing the pictures, getting everything all together, that kind of thing, that they're not taking any pictures, so on that last night, I'm not sure if even the characters had photographers with them or not. That's not a thing to think, to about. think about. Yeah. As you're making your plans. Yeah, but definitely the big tip is to just keep checking your pictures throughout the whole thing. I don't think I mentioned that. So what we ended up doing is because you have the, the prints in the folder and you see them and they looked really nice. I mean, they, you know, they were good quality. It wasn't like cheap, like, oh, I printed it on like, you know, this. My home printer. Yeah. They were like, you know, high quality pictures. So like, this is probably why they do it. So then you want to go and buy them. So like I bought the digital thing, as I said, but then we saw the pictures. My mom was like, you know, oh, and I could like show it to people because, you know, I don't usually print the pictures unless I'm making like a book or something. Mm -hmm. So we ended up deciding to buy the pictures also. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Heather, you couldn't have just taken those photos, slapped them in a book for your mom to take to work? Buy buy her a book. How much more did that cost you? Well, it's an extra $100. So for all the pictures. I guess that's the cost of a photo book, though, too. Yeah, I mean, it's like. It's less than a photo book. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's like, you know, because I was going to do it. And I guess, you know, and if people, like, you know, I, they put pictures around their house or whatever. Like, they're great pictures, but I was just going to get the digital. But whatever. So I had those pictures. But the thing was, as I said, on the, I would check the digital thing every day to make sure I had all my pictures. But I didn't do that for the hard copy pictures. So, like I said, we had decided to do this maybe day five or so that we went and we 
purchased the extra hundred dollars for the prints, but I hadn't been checking the pictures. So on the last night I went and I'm like, I wonder if I have all my pictures. <laughs> so I counted them and like I said, I was supposed to have 305 and I only had about 220 ish. And you think of all those pictures. I'm like, how am I supposed to even figure out? Cause they're not in any kind of order, at least on, you know, the, the kiosk digital thing, they were pretty much in order. So that's why it was always easier for me to figure it out. And I'm like, I have no idea <laughs> like what I'm missing. So you can go through and figure them out, but that was already like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> the yeah. last night. And I, I, there was a couple, like I knew that the, the castaway key pictures weren't there. So they went and printed those. Um, but I just couldn't go through and figure out what I had. So I do not have all my prints, even though I paid for them all. I mean, obviously I can print them myself, but that's the tip too. If you want to get the prints, make sure you go through all those or just don't take a lot and then it'll be easier to figure out. What, yeah. what kind of, what kind of photo book is it? Um, like, is it a bound photo that's book? The thing, or is it... I'm, I'm thinking, you know how picky I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or is it like a three ring binder and some? No, it's, it's, it's what it looked like. Cause they had them out there for you to look through. And I'm trying to remember if I took a picture of them or not. I, but it looked to me like a shutterfly book. Okay. So like, I mean, you know, hardcover, thin, thin pages, thin page. Yeah. It was thin yeah. pages. Um, the, you know, it had like a, um, jacket, like a, that you could take off. It said fantasy. Okay. It was, like I said, for us, it's not something we would get because we could easily do it ourselves. And, and then better. have Adorama picks print it yeah, for yeah, the exactly. same price so, or I mean, I, I, I think I, like, opened it and looked at it. I mean, it looked fine. It, was, it did not look bad. Like, I know we had another show where we were talking about the quality of things. And, you know, I've gotten ones that have been bad. So that looked, like, good, but it wasn't it wasn't Adorama quality. Right. So I'll say that. Yeah. And I don't remember um, how many pages was, was in it either. It was, uh, let me see if that picture i took at it if not i'll have to i don't know uh no it just says personalized i don't know if i can find that out somewhere but it didn't look that thick you know right i don't think i could have fit all 305 pictures in it (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) and they also had you know like gifts i mean like you know mugs and that kind of thing that you could get your picture on you know Mm -hmm. like anything yeah um but yeah, I'm trying to think. Was there anything else like important? <laughs> the like the, the thing too. Like I said, those photographers they were just so great. I was so impressed by them, and they were all so nice and patient. Because like when I would be getting my character pictures, you know, I um, would be taking the picture, so it wasn't just like one snap picture and I'm done. You know, that's not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So like they knew. <laughs> like, so it was, it was funny because like the character attendants, I knew a lot of them too, because of there's so much. But they're also the ones that are in the shows. So um, if like there wasn't a show, I didn't know them as much because there were so many of them. But otherwise, there was a couple. Of them. <laughs> but they would know like if I was there by myself to get the picture. I knew if it was the people that I I had seen a lot, they knew to take a lot of it, not just like one picture. <laughs> But that's definitely the thing. You become, you know, I don't want to say friends, but I mean, like, you you know these people because they're just, you, if you do one thing, you do it, like, a couple times during the trip, you're going to constantly see the same ones over and over. It's the same people. You know, you go to, like, the, the bar. It's the same bartender the entire time. So I think that's a really um, interesting thing because, like, they know you. And they, they yeah. have such amazing memory. I just cannot believe that they'll see something like once and they'll completely remember your name your where you're you know your room your where you're from you're like it's like how do you know this like I to think of how they have to do this is thousands of people and then the next week just like do new people you know it's just, it's just amazing and I also say that we were since we were talking about the hurricane that because they had canceled one cruise before ours and they had also shortened another one. So a lot of the people that were on those, they ended up rebooking onto our ship. So we had a thousand extra people that we weren't supposed to have. Oh, wow. And it never felt crowded. And I wow. don't know if it's because, yeah, I don't know if I'm used to Disney where like that's crowded right. <laughs> or what the deal was. But I mean, it never felt like, oh my goodness, there's so many people. 
you know, when you had like, there's fireworks. So like, even for something like that, where everybody would be out there or like the deck party or, um, it, it was just the only time I felt like there was people was on, on the Halloween night, they had like a little show thing, which was really cute in the atrium. And I actually had two shows. And the first one I happened to be upstairs right next to where they were doing it. I didn't realize it, but I was waiting for the character, of course. And so I got a really great video of them dancing because um, I was right there. And then I said, okay, I need to watch the second show from like where you're supposed to. And so when I went down on the atrium, like you couldn't really see it because they were up on the balcony. And so when they were like back, you couldn't see it. (laughs) So I was like, oh, that was much better up there. But when I was down there, there was like a ton of people. So that was the only time I felt like, oh, there's a lot of people, but it still didn't feel like I was at a Disney park or something like it wasn't an overbearing amount of people that's good so really good yeah okay well i am so glad that you had so much fun on your trip heather and it's made me really (laughs) want to go on a cruise now too i know it's so much (laughs) fun like i i could talk for like 20 more hours about it i'm sure it's (laughs) yeah you probably (laughs) please please don't It's, I mean, it, it sounds like a lot of fun and it's something that I definitely want to do. I think it's something every Disney fan wants to do. I am a little nervous about it because I do get motion sickness so easy. And then that being stuck with these people that I might not like. Uh, okay. <laughs> now you know, though, if you did that, if yes, you said something right away, out. like they would move you. Because yes. if we had some, because I'm really going to say, you know, do, I think I even said to my mom after like, the third night or something like we should stay so like maybe they can move us She's like no, 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 no. so we didn't and so yeah I mean if that's like what they said you know they want you to be happy and yeah. they're very accommodating yeah I mean I, we felt bad because our servers and those two nights we weren't with them but they were like we want you to be happy you know this is your your cruise like that's why when we were talking about it, and I said how I've been you know we, we booked this in March but I said okay we're going to go on the cruise in January, but I've been thinking about doing this for years, you know, I've been right. looking yeah. forward to it oh, yeah. and I, all these kinds of things. And so then to, you know, when you're sitting at the dinner at like the, the in the restaurant where you've been like dreaming about dreaming, for years yes. and then they're just like, eh, whatever, you know, <laughs> they hate it. That would be so awful. <laughs> it's like a deflated balloon. So they were like, yeah, we understand. We want you to be happy. This is, you know, your vacation. So just, you have to remember that Heather only had two people there with her too. So there was like, she was going to get stuck at right. a table with other people. So if you have more people in your group, like you, Steph would have like five people. So you could probably take up, a, like find a table that were just you guys. Yeah. How so, many do they like, put at a table? It depends. There's all different ones. We actually, um, like I even asked my travel agent, you know, if we could have, be like by ourselves. And he said, yeah, I'm going to try. Like you can, you know, ask for that. But I think it's because they had had to add so many people that it just wasn't possible. So there weren't, I don't even remember seeing any tables that had just two, but there were tables, like we were at a table for four. So if you, you know, mm-hmm. you had four, um, but there were, you know, bigger tables, there was all different sizes. Okay, but I, yeah. I definitely think if you had like five, it you're might probably not be us. Someone. If you yeah. have, you know, like two or maybe even three, like maybe it would stick you okay. with someone. But but most of the people I was, I, when we were moved and I was at Animator's Palette and I was watching the table next to us and I knew that they weren't together because I had seen the ver- both of the different groups like around the ship in character lines. And so, <laughs> <laughs> but I could tell even when I was watching that that they weren't, but they had, you know, so it was a bigger table, but it was probably around like two groups of three maybe that were at that table. But I, like my mom said that they should do some kind of like, (laughs) some kind of thing where they put you together with people who are like your same age or something else. Like the table I was watching, like they both had little girls the same age. So like that made sense. But like, you know, maybe they, maybe they did on some of them. Yeah. But like, no, they were like, oh, they love Disney and they hate Disney. That'll be perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe maybe the people that love Disney can convert them. <laughs> That's funny. And um, cruise ships are different with the um, the motion sickness thing, too, Steph. Yeah. Are they? I get I get super motion sickness. Like I get car sick. I get I can barely go on star tours anymore. Like yeah, that's I get neat. super motion sickness, and I've never gotten sick on a cruise. Really? Okay, that's good. Yeah. To know. I, I can. Yeah, I can tell you that we were really worried about that. I mean, um, I don't 
get motion sickness or anything, really. But I, you know, we got, <laughs> got everything. We got there's bands. Yeah. There's a, the patch. There's uh, we got Dramamine. We had ginger gum. We, we, had, <laughs> we had all the stuff. We completely prepared. And you know, like I said, that first what happened was it was the first night and I was standing in line for Pluto because <laughs> everything goes back to the character. And all of a sudden I feel like I'm going to like fall over and I'm, you know, cause I, I looked outside and it was a little after we had, you know, left and all of a sudden I just felt like this and I had to turn around and not watch. And I thought it was just me. And it's like, I don't know if I, if it's going to feel like this the whole cruise, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then when we went to dinner, like, People were practically falling over, like they couldn't even stand up. It's not funny, but they were like, <laughs> like they were just standing there. They're like, you know, and so I knew it wasn't just me. And that's even when when we went to dinner, the the server said, you know, green apples helps with this. So they kept giving us green apples. Oh, funny. But I don't I don't think it helped. But uh, I've never heard it, that. <laughs> I know I never heard it either. But I because someone else said crackers. I knew crackers, but not that. And so it was. They just kept saying, yeah, this is. Uh, this is unusual. This is not like it's usually the first night is, you know, a little because of, of where you're going or something, but it's not usually this bad. And we went into the store because, again, you know, the stores are closed when you first get on. And so we were like looking through the windows like I want that and that. Yeah. <laughs> and so like as soon as it was open, we we're like in the store. And, you know, but they were they were holding on to things. And these are ones who had been on the ship for years. And they were like, yeah, this is not normal and uh, you know I we went back to the room and it was I'd always heard that the front of the ship was was worse for that but then people said it doesn't matter like you won't feel it so we went back to the room and oh my goodness we felt it because it was really bad that night and I just grabbed the bands and stuck them on and like ran out of the room <laughs> went back to the middle of the ship and bands I don't know if they helped or anything but I he said to keep it on the whole time so I slept with it and when I woke up my hands were completely numb so I took them off. Yeah. And I was I was fine the rest of the, the, the time. It was, I don't think you'll have, like, I was really worried about that. My mom was really worried. But other than that first night, she, she actually took Dramamine um, later that night. And then she was fine afterwards. But she never had to take it again. That's good. And it was, you know, like I said, a couple of times it was a little rougher. But it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to be sick. I never felt like I was going to be sick. I just felt a little dizzy. Yeah. Well, that's good. Okay, that gives me hope that I can handle a cruise. I think I think you'd be fine. Okay. Take some Dramamine. You're good. That's yeah. what I always did. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's remind our listeners, Tanya, they can find you at – do you want to tell them? At, actually? Yes. At, <laughs> at everymagicmoment.com and on all social media at Tanya H666. Okay. Perfect. Heather? Um, my character site is heatherw.com slash character. It's, I love characters. And uh, on Twitter and Instagram and all those places, I'm heatherw25. And on Facebook, it's I love characters. And I will probably be posting pictures from the cruise for the next, like, five years. So <laughs> there's Yay, a lot. <laughs> that's good. Hey, and uh, I wanted to mention on this podcast that I just launched a new website and stuff called uh, Modern Photo Solutions. There's a podcast there as well, Modern Photo Solutions, all dedicated to f helping people find modern photo solutions that fit with their life right now. Uh, there is a free class all about Google Photos, which if you've been a long-time listener of the podcast, you know John Chua tried to turn us all into Google Photo users a long time ago. And we just <laughs> we just scoffed at him. <laughs> yeah. But that was really, that was before it was Google Photos. That was when it was part of Google Plus, and I was yeah. not going to be using Google Plus. So it was really <laughs> smart of Google to roll it out as an independent product. It's pretty amazing. So if you want to check that out, you can text the word, one word all together, PhotoFab, to 44222, and you'll get a direct link to it. Or just go to modernphotosolutions.com, and there's a link on the homepage to the free class. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thanks for being here again, girls. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yep. And we'll see you next time on Capturing Magic. Mm -hmm.